In other words, what he's saying is downstream, we're going to see. And, and he even went even further and he said, you know, wow, it would be incredible if we find out in the future sh the shit, sorry, the, the SHI will hit the fan if we get to find out that, that we, we basically created a disaster. Well, he was under the influence of alcohol and he was speculating, but I am seeing, and he knows, they have created a we're not asking it. We're not telling anybody uh, what is actually happening or asking them to believe our perspective. We're saying absorb all the information before you come to an objective opinion, and then you'll have what is cl as close to the truth as possible. But you really need the other side of the story. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini here at the United Health Conference. It's taking place at the Sheridan Centre in Toronto. It has been formed with the aim of getting justice for the COVID-19 vaccinated. This two-day conference will hear from various experts, including medical doctors, justice seekers, and general COVID dissidents who refuse to be enslaved by the safe and effective system. The day started off with speeches and discussions around, well, the importance of documenting caused by government-related pandemic responses, which many argue is the real pandemic. Justice for the vaccinated. And it does a lot of things. There are innovative ideas and alternative health modalities being discussed while sharing data and science around the current medical landscape, both at home here in Canada and globally. While I'm here, I'll be checking in with some attendees to hear why they came out and I'll catch up also with lawyer Michael Alexander on his case with the Ontario Medical Regulator, the CPSO or the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario in fighting on behalf of suspended Ontario doctors, as well as renowned public health advisor and epidemiologist Dr. Paul Elias Alexander, Dr. Chris Shoemaker and others. So let's check it out. I'm here with both uh, the co-founders from the Canadian Frontline Nurses, Sarah Shunyan and Kristen Nagel. Why was it important for you to come out here to Toronto today? I was I was appreciative of the focus of health um, for this this conference and things are about solution oriented. And so for me, we've been talking about the same thing for the last three years. We know the. And sadly, many of the things that we discuss may go against certain safe and effective narratives, and we cannot share much of it on certain platforms. So if you scroll down to the description below and click the link there, you'll be redirected to a platform that does not engage in censorship of ideas or lived experiences. So please check out the full report over there, and I'll see you on the other side. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini.